In the ongoing effort to support Ukraine against the Russian invasion, the United States government has promised to double down on its efforts to arm Ukraine. One of those packages of weapons and supplies comes with 100 switchblade kamikaze drones. The interesting question is, what exactly are switchblade drones and what makes them so special in the Ukrainian war effort against Russia? Jungle. Diving right into it, Aerovironment produces the switchblade drone. These drones first saw action against the Taliban in response to 9-11 and, over the years, have had their fair share of upgrades. The Switchblade 300 model weighs about 5 pounds, flies up to 15 minutes at a time, and can be carried in a backpack, making them ideal for small strike teams looking to do a lot of damage before getting out. The nickname Kamikaze refers to their single-use nature. The tiny drone is launched from a tube, where its blade wings open as it's propelled into the air. The propeller in the back spins up, and an operator designates the target on a control station. The switchblade navigates itself in the terminal guidance mode and detonates on the target. According to the Aerovironment website, switchblade delivers increased warfighter lethality with real-time GPS coordinates and video for precise targeting with low collateral effects. Switchblade sensor to shooter combines the superior ISR capabilities of Aerovironment's small unmanned aircraft system with the precision strike capabilities of the Switchblade loitering missile system. With real-time video downlinks for a centralized view of the area of operation and the ability to scene match SUAS, ISR, and Switchblade 300 camera feeds on one screen. Being the child of the DARPA program, known as Close Combat Lethal Reconnaissance, the Switchblade needed to meet the needs of U.S. troops serving in Afghanistan to thwart ambushes in the rough terrain. The main difference between the Switchblade and the CCLR is that the former relied on a fiber optic cable spooled out behind the device as it took flight, while the Switchblade uses radio and now GPS guidance systems to seek a target and a less expensive alternative to calling in close air support, which had a high chance of causing collateral damage to the civilian population or infrastructure, the switchblade would launch in minutes, its single warhead hitting the exact target it needed with a small enough payload to minimize damage to its surroundings. Sure, it's still not as effective or nearly as threatening as an A-10 Warthog circling the sky, but the switchblade buys enough time for suppressed troops to maneuver and strike back in the heat of an ambush or even withdraw. Aerovironment claims that the switchblade is designed for use in engaging beyond line of sight target via tube launch from air, land, and sea. The switchblade is virtually undetectable with very small visual, thermal, and acoustic signatures. In the heat of the moment, it can even be waved off and redesigned to a new target or back to loitering in the heat of the moment. The 3rd Infantry Division Lieutenant Colonel Ben Garrett spoke to Wired about how the switchblade is in use in Afghanistan and has proven to be a very effective tool in our campaign. Other Army officials and various other reports have dubbed the switchblade as a flying shotgun. In May 2012, the United States Marine Corps began ordering switchblades to allow troops to strike improvised explosive devices, IED, and placement teams and similar targets. Marines sometimes couldn't get the support they needed due to other units getting priority. So the switchblade in a Marine's Alice or Mole Pack could do the job a UAV or aircraft could do. In late 2012, 75 switchblades were supplied to U.S. soldiers in Afghanistan. While the military hasn't released the full details and effects of these operations and uses of the switchblade, they have gone on to report they were very effective. Aerovironment announced in August 2013 that it had been awarded five contracts totaling $15.8 million to supply more switchblade systems, ancillary equipment, and support to the U.S. Army. A week later, the Pentagon gave Aerovironment a follow-up contract worth $6.6 million, then another $29 million in September to modify the munition systems and hardware support services. 
The Switchblade 400 had software from SRC Inc. that would use the Switchblade sensors to intercept hostile UAVs. The Switchblade is used alongside an existing counter-artillery radar and IED jamming system, all of which can be towed by some Humvees. Intercepting an enemy drone occurs in layers of defenses. If a drone gets through covering jet fighters or is too small to be targeted by them, it is picked up by the fire-finding radar. Once detected, the jammer performs electronic warfare to break its data link. If the drone resists EW, the switchblade is launched to physically impact and destroy it. In April 2015, Marines test-fired a warhead-less switchblade from the back of a MV-22 Osprey and successfully steered the device toward a target, proving that it could be launched from the air. From its introduction to the end of Operation Enduring Freedom, over 4,000 switchblades were deployed in Afghanistan. In 2017, 350 switchblades were delivered to the Special Forces for use against the Islamic State. In 2021, AeroVironment was awarded a $26.1 million contract by SOCOM for the Switchblade 600, the bigger brother of the 300, weighing in at about 50 pounds and can get 40 minutes of airtime, loitering in the air so it can target armored vehicles. The system has addressed the United States Naval Special Warfare Command's Maritime Precision Engagement MPE, requirement to engage asymmetric threats with combatant craft medium and heavy boats acting as host platforms. The Switchblade 600 uses a touchscreen tablet-based fire control system that can manually or autonomously control the munition. The actual drone itself is secured through onboard encrypted data links and selective availability, anti-spoofing module GPS with patented wave-off capability. An optional pocket digital data link module allows for engagement beyond 56 miles, a longer range and cheaper than anti-tank missiles like the Javelin. Despite it being called a drone, the switchblade is a munition with a warhead equivalent to a 40 millimeter grenade. When the warhead detonates, rather than blasting in a 360-degree circle, the warhead blasts forward in the direction of the switchblade's fight. The theory behind this directional blast is due to reduced collateral damage often seen with traditional bombs dropped by drones, but also to apply more force and damage directly into the target of choice, such as an armored vehicle or bunker. Another nifty trick of the switchblade is that if an enemy force tries to obtain it, the device could self-destruct in mid-flight, even when no target is found. While the United States President Biden promised to send 100 switchblades to Ukraine, which switchblade system is not publicly available? The Switchblade 300 is more dedicated to anti-personal strikes, while the Switchblade 600, the heavier variant, carries a warhead designed for anti-armor purposes. A senior defense official in April 2022 said, that more than a dozen flights would carry weapons, including the first tranche of Phoenix Ghost from the US to Europe. Not much is known about what Phoenix Ghosts are, but a guess based on the name is for a much less detectable version and maybe even a portable anti-tank switchblade designed for Ukrainian strike teams operating on the front lines. Other unmanned devices have been used, like the Bayraktar TB2, unmanned aerial vehicle from Turkey, has carried out devastating attacks against Russian forces. So far, there has only been one alleged successful strike from a switchblade kamikaze drone found on the internet. But so far, it's hard to verify its credibility, but we'll show it anyways. In this video, it may have been a mortar strike, despite what Ukrainian officials claim, but it also could have been a switchblade munition in action. It's unclear if the switchblade had completed its task but Russian forces had recovered the remains. The United Kingdom, the United States, and the Ukrainian armed forces are the current operations of switchblade kamikaze drones, but the Lithuanian armed forces announced its intention to purchase Summit in April 2022. While supplying Ukraine with these small drones may not outright win the war, the advantage of having them plays ideally into Ukraine's hands. Small units can set up a tube and launch switchblade drones over forests, 
to hit idle supply lines or even larger Switchblade 600s could track down armor stuck in urban centers, work done previously by the TB2. That's all for our video on the Switchblade munition the United States is supplying with Ukraine. While there isn't much more information on any variant or how they will be used in Ukraine, we know enough to theorize. Again, while they won't outright win the war, it provides a definitive advantage for Ukrainian forces against Russian invasion. What do you think about the Switchblade drone, and how much of an impact do you think it makes? If you enjoyed this type of video, hit the subscribe button and bell icon for more. What kind of military technologies would you like us to cover next? Let us know in the comments below.